Shots of the sea trials of the Hamburg Sud Express liner Cap Polonio. Ordered in 1912, the luxury liner was launched in 1914, but was not deployed in passenger shipping until after the First World War. The first decades of the 20th century saw the emergence of a completely new mode of travel. The luxury hotels in Europe's grand cities offered the pampered guest every imaginable comfort. An affluent clientele simply expected luxury and magnificence at sea too. The size and furnishings of the ships became important selling points. For Hamburg Sud, the golden age of the large express liners began in November 1911, when the Cap Finisterre set out on its maiden voyage to Buenos Aires. With 1,350 passengers on board, she arrived there after just 13 and a half days. The fastest crossing on this route until then. Another sensation. In her dining hall, all 315 first-class passengers were able to dine in one sitting. But despite the sense of anticipation, there was many an anxious heart when it became time to say goodbye. The crossing to distant South America invariably meant a long separation from loved ones back home. As one passenger puts it in a letter, we'll be leaving Europe's shores the day after tomorrow. This letter will be posted in Frigo this afternoon when we dock there. Then I'll probably ride once more from Lisbon. And then I'll be further and further away. Now you're so clearly in my memory, as if physically. But I'll be getting lots of letters from you this time, so things are not so hard. The uncontested queen of the South Atlantic, however, was the express liner Cap Arcona, launched in Hamburg in 1927. In Gale Force 9 in the North Sea, she was able to show what she was capable of. For the 850 passengers in first and second class, there was a swimming pool, a gymnasium, and a sports deck featuring a tennis court. A plant nursery, a tailor's and shoemaker's workshop, passenger lifts, even kennels with dog handlers. Guaranteeing the same luxury at sea as the guests were accustomed to ashore. Hamburg Sud's express liners with their red and white funnels rode history. There was never again to be more glamour and luxury on the route to and from South America.